This training video provides the installation steps for the Avigilon H5A multi-sensor camera. The H5A multi-sensor camera has various mounting options to better accommodate different environments. Shown here are some examples of the environments and mount options. This training video overviews a pendant wall mount installation of the camera. Other mounting options and important safety information is detailed in the H5A multi-sensor camera installation guide. The installation guide can be downloaded from the Avigilon website. This camera can be pre-configured in its shipping box. This segment overviews the steps for the pre-configuration of a generic camera. Let's begin with the pre-deployment steps. The camera comes equipped with an RJ45 configuration cable pre-installed for users that want to configure camera settings before installing the camera. The RJ45 connector on the configuration cable is accessible through the small flap on the side of the camera box for easy configuration before unpacking the camera. It's recommended not to leave your camera connected during the pre-configuration process beyond the time displayed and within the following ambient temperatures. Locate and open the flap on the side of the camera packaging. Connect a network cable to the RJ45 plug on the configuration cable. The network cable must provide PoE to power the camera during configuration. Connect the camera using a video management software application, the camera configuration tool software, or the camera's web browser interface to configure the camera settings. Once you have finished making configuration changes, unplug the network cable. Be careful when handling the camera after configuring it inside the packaging. The camera may be hot when handling it or removing it from the packaging immediately after inbox configuration. The components for each H5A multi-sensor camera arrive in various packages, including a camera, a dome cover, a mounting adapter, a mount, and an optional IR ring package. Ensure the packages are intact and there are no signs that the camera has been dropped or scratched. Ensure the camera package contains the Abigilon H5A multi-sensor camera base, a pigtail connector, two RJ45 plugs, and an RJ45 connector waterproof gland. Ensure the wall mount adapter package contains the wall adapter, a mounting template sticker, and a pin and torx tool. Note that bolts with washers may be required to secure the wall mount adapter to the desired surface. These are not included in the package. Note that the conduit pipe and thread seal tape are not included for a conduit installation. Ensure the pendant mount adapter contains the pendant adapter and an installation instruction sheet. Ensure the dome cover package contains the clear or smoke dome bubble. If you are installing the optional IR illuminator, ensure the package contains the IR illuminator ring. Ensure you have a Phillips screwdriver, a drill with bits, and a wire crimping tool to complete the installation. These tools are not included in the package. Note that the dome camera must be mounted as instructed in this video or the installation guide. Otherwise, problems with moisture may arise and will not be covered under the dome camera warranty. A Vigilon recommends installing the optional micro SD cards into their corresponding slots before installing the camera in its desired location. If two SD cards are inserted, the camera will simultaneously record video to both SD card slots. The system's total storage capacity is the combined capacity of each of the individual cards. It's recommended that the SD card have a write speed of class 10 or better. If the SD card does not meet the recommended write speed, the recording performance may suffer and result in a loss of frames or footage. To insert an SD card, position the card as shown. Lightly push the SD card into its slot. The insertion of the micro SD card is spring-loaded. Do not use excessive force or the card and the camera may be damaged. Access the camera's web interface to enable the onboard storage feature. For more information on this, see the installation guide. More information regarding this topic will be reviewed in a later segment of this video. The steps to install the camera base are reviewed later in this video. Let's begin by installing the pendant wall mount. First, determine where the cables will enter the pendant wall mount. If the cables are pulled from inside the mounting surface, use the cable entry hole located here. If the cables come out of an external conduit pipe, use the 3 quarter inch NPT pipe entry hole shown here. Next, use the provided mounting template to drill four mounting holes into the mounting surface. If the required cables come from the rear cable entry hole, 
Drill this hole according to the template sticker. Remove the template sticker. Thread the required cables through this cable entry hole. If using the conduit pipe entry hole, pull the cables through the pipe, then through the pipe entry hole, highlight it here. Apply thread seal tape to the pipe conduit and screw it into the pipe entry hole. Next, using the supplied bolts, fasten the pendant wall mount to the mounting surface. Tighten these to secure the adapter. Then, connect the safety lanyard to the anchor on the pendant adapter here. Pull the cables through the wall mount and then through the pendant adapter. In the following segment, let's overview the steps to install the pendant mounting adapter to the wall mount. Begin by connecting the adapter to the wall mount. In one smooth motion, raise the adapter into the wall mount, then turn clockwise to lock the adapter in place. Next, use the supplied Allen key to tighten the three pin and Torx bits. Connecting the cables required for proper operation is overviewed next. First, feed the network cable through the gland cap and cable gland. Then, crimp the supplied RJ45 connector to the end of your network cable. The network cable connection can be used to supply power to the camera using power over Ethernet. To supply the correct amount of power to the camera, the power switch here will need to be set correctly. Note that camera head 4 may need to be moved clockwise to obtain access to the switch. Note that the B position shown above is the default. The A position should be used for the compatible injectors displayed. For more information regarding power, refer to the installation guide. Next, any optional connections may be connected to the supplied pigtail input-output connector. If external input or output devices are part of the installation, wire those devices to the pigtail connector. If an external microphone or speaker is required, connect the devices to the pigtail connector. If an external power source is required, connect an external class 2 or limited power source to the pigtail connector with the output ratings displayed. Let's overview the steps to connect the cables to the camera module next. Once all desired cables are connected, connect this safety lanyard from the mounting adapter to the lanyard anchor on the camera base. Tighten the cable glands around the cables. Next, remove the connector covers from the external power audio digital I.O. connector and the optional IR illuminator connector. Connect the network cable to the ethernet port located here. Connect any external power audio digital I.O. cables to their connector here. Connect the optional IR illuminator cable to its connector here. Secure each of these connections by turning them clockwise. Note that if installing the optional ferrite bead accessory, clamp it around the auxiliary power cable after connecting it. The link LED indicator turns on once a network link has been established. Check that the connection status LED indicator indicates the correct state. For more information on this topic, refer to the installation guide. After the cable connections have been made, mount the H5A multi-sensor camera base into the pendant mount adapter. Let's review the installation steps in this next segment. A Vigilon recommends using the safety lanyard from the pendant mount adapter and attaching it to the lanyard anchor on the camera base here. This prevents the camera from falling. Inspect the PoE switch setting here. Verify it's set correctly for your installation. The B position is the default position compatible with the 802.3 BT standard. The A position should be used for legacy HPoE injectors shown above. Next, push the camera base into the pendant adapter. This allows the quick install fasteners in the camera base to align with the screw holes on the pendant adapter. Using a screwdriver, turn the three set screws clockwise by 90 degrees to secure the camera base to the mount adapter. If the USB Wi-Fi adapter application is required, attach it to the camera's micro USB port. Once the Wi-Fi signal broadcast by the adapter is connected, access the mobile web interface from any mobile device using the displayed address. For more information about configuring the camera from the mobile web interface, see the Avigilon USB Wi-Fi Adapter System User Guide or reference the Avigilon USB Wi-Fi Adapter video. 
Each camera head may be aimed to provide optimal coverage of the desired environment. Reference the camera's live stream as you aim the camera. To aim the camera, adjust each of the available camera heads as required. Rotate the azimuth control ring to set the image in the correct rotation. Tilt these camera heads up and down. These cameras are adjusted with friction and will hold the desired position. In the camera's web browser interface, adjust the camera's image and display settings to achieve the desired image parameters and position. Once the camera base has been mounted into the mounting adapter, install the IR illuminator ring with the camera base. The optional IR illuminator ring is compatible with the pendant and surface mount installations of the camera. The hot pluggable IR illuminator ring must be mounted in an outdoor dome cover. First, insert the IR ring into the dome cover so that the arrow on the IR ring aligns with the orange tab on the dome cover. Use the supplied Allen key to secure the IR ring to the dome cover. Next, attach a safety lanyard from the mounted camera base to the lanyard anchor on the dome cover here. Push the IR ring cable onto the IR connector on the camera base and turn the connector clockwise to secure the connection. To install the pendant mount dome cover, follow these steps. Be careful not to scratch or touch the dome bubble. The resulting marks or fingerprints may affect the overall image quality. Keep the protective covers on the outside of the dome bubble until the installation is complete. Once the anchor is in place to prevent the dome from falling, align the notches on the dome cover with the release tab on the pendant mount adapter as shown here. The dome cover should be plush against the pendant mount adapter. Then tighten the set screws to secure the dome cover in place. Once the dome is installed, the camera must be focused using the web UI. This completes the steps to install the Avigilon H5A multi-sensor camera with the pendant wall mount option.